All right, today's class is going to be Lang XML with C Sharp, and they are going to be very simple lessons. So, what are we going to learn today? Uh, we are going to cover in the first tutorial, we are going to see how to read XML file using link to XML. Take note that link to XML is the latest technology in working with XML in C Sharp and uh, other, ASA, other .NET languages. So, they are going to be very easy tutorials. So, today we are starting with the first lesson. So, what I will recommend is you click on subscribe button so that you subscribe, so that when I make the next tutorial, you easily get notified. So just find the subscribe button below this video right now and just click on it. Okay, having done that, let's go to Open Visual Studio and get to work. Alright, so if you have Visual Studio installed, just open it and start a new project. Me, I'm using Visual Studio 2013. Visual Studio 2013. So let's start a new project. This project is a project we are going to be working with throughout this tutorial. So start a new project. Let it be on Visual C Sharp and select console application because that would be easy for us to work with. Let's call it uh, okay let's call it uh, line X let's call it working with XML file or working with XML and that is fine. Console application and that is fine. So <coughs> So then the first thing we are going to do is to open up the program.cs which is already open. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to add one XML file to this project. Now I have some XML files I prepared. There are about four of them. So if you want them, you can look at the description of the description box, you'll see a link to these XML files that we are going to be working with. One is books, one is personnel, and one is plain ads. If you want, you can also type out your own XML uh, file. But since I have these files, I'll just add them to the project. So, I'll just right click and say add. So just choose existing item. Is on my desktop. So um, XML files. So find wherever you have them. Make sure you select all files. Display. So click on all of them and just say add. So if you look at your project explorer, you find out that they are all added there. So if you open, for instance, books books two dot XML, you see is a catalog of different books. So how do we display or read file from this XML file? So the first thing we are going to do, instead of to write all the functions in here, I'm going to just create a new file that I'm going to put all the different functions. So click on new item and just choose class and call it functions. Okay, so so this class or this file is going to contain a lot of functions. So now we have two files, functions of CX and program of CX. So let's inside our main function, let's just start using this new function, this new class we created. So what we do is function fn is equal to new function. Okay, so from this we can always use the functions we write here. So also write this second line so that when the output displays it remains open. Console line. So this ensures that the program will always wait for the user input before it closes. Okay, so the first function we are going to write, let's call it uh, read XML. Let's call it is a public function, public void read XML. Okay, so this is the read XML. Let's just put a comment to explain what this function is doing. So 
so just put the comment that says read an XML file using link XML. Let me just increase the size of this. So before you use link to XML and you're using directives, make sure you have using system.link. Then also add the second line that says using system.xml .xml and also using system.xml.link. So you need to make sure these three are there. System.xml, system.xml.link and system.link. Alright, so let's now write a function called readXML. So this function is going to read one of our XML files and display on the output. So the first line you are going to write is XML, sorry, X element. You define a new X element that represents this XML file. Let's call it doc. X element uh, X X element. Okay, let's define it to be in link. You need to you don't actually create a new uh, XML X element because it's immutable. You can't create a new one. It's an abstract class. Maybe we'll talk about this in a different tutorial. So so you say X element dot loads. So this load method loads a new XML file. So let's use book.xml. Alright, so remember we have book books.xml. So and that is okay. The second line you are going to write now is to define a new uh, a new collection class. A new list that will hold all the books that you read. So let's declare it as i enumerable, and there is going to hold x elements. Right. So let's call it books. So what I'm doing here is this is uh, a, an enumerable type that holds different x elements. X element just represents a node or a book. For instance, if you open the books, you see that there are different books. This is one book. So this book corresponds to one X element. This corresponds to another X element. So we are creating a list of books, a, a list of X elements. So equals um, X element dot element. It's as simple as that. So now we have books containing all the elements or all the books inside this file. Okay. So now the next thing you are going to do is to use a loop for each uh, x element in x element. It's a little confusing, but I think you'll get it. So for each book in X element. Okay. So remember that this X element contains all the books. So we have for each book in okay, it's giving us Okay, so, so for each book in books, okay, so for each book in books, because this is a list of books, for each book, so let's just say console dot right line, console dot right line, I'm, I'm going to write a book for each book, so console dot right line, I write a book, all right. So let's go ahead to if we go back to this we can just say fn this now is in the main program let's just call the function we wrote the function is read xml so let's call it 
fn dots with xml all right so so this function is going to just run this code here okay so so let's run the program to see what happens okay so we have a problem you see so this problem says cannot find uh, the file books.xml so to solve this problem I'll tell you what you're going to do what you will do is to just right click on, on the file we are using books and just go to properties go to properties and find copy to output and set it to copy always okay so after now you can just save everything and just run the program all right so as you can see everything is displayed on the output so these are all the books okay, displayed so if I'm going to explain a little what is happening here let me just put a breakpoint here and let's see what happens inside so I'm going to run it and it hits this breakpoint now let's see what is in here X element loads all the books from the XML file so if we click on this visualizer you see all the books which is all the X elements in the catalog all right so now this is also a collection of all the books but in this case this is I enumerable type meaning that it is a list type that you can work with so if we, if we look at the preview you see that it contains enumeration of all the elements in there now look at book contains a single book since it's not running that code we can visualize it for now so, so now we can have an item no and so on so we have something in there so that is how to read uh, XML and display on the output so try to take some time to practice make sure you understand it and try to subscribe so that you get uh, updates look at the subscribe button and hit on it so let's see in the next class